Hey guys, Stulls Jacob here, and welcome back to the Direwolf 20 1.10 mod pack. Today, we're gonna do some cool industrial craft stuff again. And, yeah, I think I figured out why this stuff doesn't really work. The nano suit armor. Why it doesn't charge. So let's go look at the power system again. So the reason I think this doesn't really work is because when you look at the item, it does a power tier of 1, while this is power tier 3. When you hit shift, you can see that. So maybe the, we need more advanced um, storage technology before we can actually do that. So today we're going to try and make some power tier level 1 machines and stuff to see if that's the case. And there are some pretty cool items to build. We're going to focus on the... where are they? We're going to do these electric tools and stuff, like the mining drill, the chainsaw, electric hoe, tree, electric tree tap, and wrench. And there's a few others, but those are the big ones. So I'm going to build some of these, and we're going to see if they actually get power from the system. Because if that's the case, then we need to build a tier 3 power storage system, like the MFE, for example. That could work. But for now, we're going to try and build these and see if they work. So, to build the, ch we're going to build the drill and then we're going to test it. And if it works, we'll build the rest of the tools. So the drill is made out of iron plates and a power unit. Let's build the iron plates first, since we know how to do that. So we need one, two, three, four, five, five. Okay, and now we need a power unit. Now these things are pretty weird. You need three re-batteries, some cable, uh, an electric motor, which actually isn't too difficult to make. need a lot of copper, actually. Do we have that? Oh, I'm hitting with the hammer. What the heck? Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, do we have a lot of copper left over? Where is our copper? We have, all right, there's more copper there. There we go. Cool. So we need a crap ton of plates. Do these work? Copper plate. And then we need the cutter, which we have here. Let's use that. So we needed to make um, the motor, which is two coils, so two of those, and we don't have enough actually. Let's just do a lot. We're going to need a lot of this stuff. It's a bit expensive. We might need to make new tools actually as well. Uh, what am I looking for? The hammer. Yep. It's okay. The hammers and stuff are pretty cheap actually, so we can do that. Okay, so we need two of these, like this two coils and we're making the motor so we need tin plates which we have a ton of tin now oh so we lost our hammer so we need to build a new one the hammer is made with what iron and sticks uh, we need sticks oh no we have wood on us that's fine okay cool Rebuild that hammer. Really good. That's all right. Okay. And what were we doing? Uh, there. Some. Of, oh, don't we need a lot of these things? Let's do a lot. Let's do 16 plates, and then half of them will be these. I think we need a lot of those. So, because we need a lot of tin for the re batteries as well. And we have the motor. So step one is complete. Uh, I'm just going to throw some of this crap away. Uh, don't need that. What else do I not need? The, uh, I might need the rubber. Yeah, there, my inventory is a bit cleaner now. So let's make this now. We need an iron. Wait, what else? Oh, yeah. So we need another iron plate. And we need one. We need some more of those. 
and there we go we have a circuit as soon as I place the items right there we go circuit and we need the three re batteries which are a lot of tin and stuff <coughs> all right how do we make the re batteries again we need those and we need some tin wire so let's cut up some wire and that should be enough we'll do well, we only need three actually so let's do that and we should be able to make them right oh, we grabbed the wrong wire and we'll place the rest of the items in just so it's a bit faster good thing I made a bunch of these things okay cool and then all we need to do is make some okay iron plates we don't have so let's get the hammer out let's do two of those and then we need to smash them with this other hammer where'd it go there it is okay that's plenty of actually yeah, I forgot I made two that's fine though we got extra so we got the power unit and now we just surround it with this stuff oh but I don't have enough <laughs> that's fine we can do it in our inventory we'll do it with the one that looks the same because I don't know if that makes a difference or not I made too little of those but we got a mining drill sweet so the mining drill with power will just dig stuff which is pretty cool it's pretty nice so let's see if this charges in the back in this thing because this is a tier one power as well and as you can see this is actually charging now so I think the issue is that we didn't have all of our items to be the right tier level so yeah basically now we can use this thing to go mining without losing a pickaxe or something like that so I can show you this right now I think it mines pretty quickly as well oh wow it makes a really cool sound too it also seems to be double but that might just be the ore we're mining maybe that just does that all the time but yeah, as you see, it uses power instead of durability, and you can just recharge it when it's low on power. So that's really nice. So we figured out why the nano suit armor doesn't work, and yeah, now we have some. We're gonna make some power tools. So that's the first one. Let's make a couple more for the episode. Um, which ones do we want to make now? The power. This one's just good, and we can upgrade it with like diamonds and stuff to mine harder materials but for now we'll just leave it the way it is um, next thing I want to make well I mean I like them all let's make the chainsaw wait okay let's look at these so this is a smaller power unit um, this is a small power unit as well some of these have different power unit levels you can build a mining laser. no oh, no we can't that's expensive uh, that's expensive too um, let's build the chainsaw, and then we'll build like the electric tree, tree tap and the wrench. Okay, so we'll build the chainsaw, which is the same thing as last time. So we need a lot of copper again, which we have. Hopefully that will be enough. Uh, um, hammer and cutter. The cutter is about to break. Okay, how do we make a cutter again? Um, iron plates and iron ingots, okay. Let's make some iron plates. And iron ingots. Did I do that wrong? Oh, okay. We needed another iron plate. Alright, we'll fix that. Okay, cool. So now we got ourselves an extra, a new pair of cutters, so we can cut more wiring. There we go. 
Now I need to make two coils again. Like this. Coils are pretty easy to make. And now we need... We'll make one of those right away. Iron plate and that. So we have those done. Let's actually put this ardite away, or appetite it's called. Ardite, that's a different metal. Well, we have some copper cable, now we need three of those. So One, two, three. Okay, cool, we got that done. And now we need the three rebatteries, which we can make. And it always puts that... Why does it put the bad one on the top? I don't get that. We also need... We need some more um, of that tin casting. I think you just hit tin plates with a hammer, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, where's my hammer? There it is. Uh, we'll make... I think we need that many. That might be enough. Uh, nope, we need one more set. Okay, that's fine. We have plenty of tin. We went mining. Cool. So we got ourselves three re-batteries. And we should have... Oh wait, we didn't make this yet. Okay, we need one last tin thing, which we have just enough tin plates for at the moment. So, there we go. We should be able to craft now the power unit. Craft the motor first. And then... Oh, we're missing the circuit, which is iron plate and six wires. So let's make one more set of wiring. And actually, we need more rubber. Um, looking for some sticky resin. Do I have it? I need a bit of sticky resin right now. Alright, we'll make a manual. We'll make a normal three tap. I have enough wood to do that. This is why we're going to get the electric one, though, so we can use just electricity to get it with our. And we're going to increase our power up in the future. Oh, it's nighttime. Let's sleep. Don't want the mobs to blow us up or anything, you know? So let's grab our tree tap. Well, let's let's grab some rubber and then put it in the extractor, so we can get triple the rubber. It's much more efficient, and it's awesome. Where'd that rubber go? I don't know. We lost it. Rubber. All right, we're getting a good amount of rubber, so we can just get triple it. Which is really nice, I like that. Oh. Okay. It falls really weirdly. Uh, any rubber? No. Alright. Where'd it go? <laughs> it keeps disappearing. That's okay. We have 9 rubber. That, that'll make 18 or none. That might 27, right? That's quite a bit. Just checking my machines if I have anything. And yeah, you just chuck the thing in, and it will power it. I also think if you stand on it, it will actually power the... Oh, look, it's powering the re-batteries as we, we're doing that. So just by standing on it, we can get more... thing. We can get more of that, which is nice. And we're waiting for another set of rubber so we can make the... So we can make the... this thing. There we go. Cool. We're making progress. So we needed the electric circuit, which was more of those wires. Uh, okay. That's cool. Where'd my hammer? Hammer. Cutter. I'm going to put my power suit armor in a chest for now, because we don't have the power for it yet. It's quite expensive to make that the MFE too. It takes a lot of diamonds. If we were to look at if we look at the recipe for an MFE, it takes four of these crystals and each crystal takes four diamonds. So 
That's 16 diamonds right there for just power storage, which, I mean, we'll get it eventually, but right now we're not going to do that because I don't have the materials yet. So that's okay. All right. We'll put those in. Six of those. Make a copper plate or an iron plate. Not iron, not copper. And we got ourselves another circuit. Is this everything we need? Oh no, we need more copper actually. Okay. Not a problem. We can make that instantly. There we go. We should have enough resources now to make the power unit. What are we missing? We got that. Iron plates. Um, is it because the re-batteries have juice in them? It might be. How do we get rid of that? That's not good. Hmm. We need to find a way to... Oh, man. That was bad. Alright, that works. If you put them in here, we can actually drain the power out of them. I think that might be the reason why it's not working. Cool. Yeah, okay, so you have to have empty batteries, I guess, to do this. I'm not sure. I guess so. Alright, let's look at the power unit. Okay, yeah, so it, it was the fact that the batteries had energy in them. And we need one, one, two, three, four, six iron plates, so... Let's make six iron plates. With a hammer. And it was just a power unit, and then... Uh, the plates all over here. And we got ourselves a chainsaw. So now we can cut down trees real with just energy. And it makes a nice sound. And if we step on this, it should charge it. And it technically is. So that's awesome. So I'm just going to stick it in here because I think it's faster that way. So cool, we got ourselves a, pow a power or mining drill and a chainsaw now. Next thing we're going to make is the electrical t tree tap, which is not as expensive. It only requires one rebattery, so that's nice. It uses less energy than the other things. So then we can get rubber just by electricity instead of making a ton of tree taps. So what we need is all is a tree tap and a small motor a small power unit. So we need an electric motor again, which is pretty standard. So we need some of this. Oh, it doesn't work with tin. Okay, we need the other hammer. There it is. Make some of those. Also make two of these for the battery. Let's, let's make the battery right away, because I remember how to make that off the top of my head goes like this and that so we got the battery already which is good now we need the motor which is the tin and we need we need a lot of copper let's just stick all the copper in there we'll go mining later with our new technology so that's cool we're good we don't really need to worry about that so now we have infinite durability technically on mining and chopping trees. So that's pretty good. Now we need two of these. Like so. And two iron in the middle. For two coils. And it went coils ironing it. And then this. Is that motor? That's a motor. And and what we need is the, the that. Oh yeah, let's check the rubber, see how that's doing. The rubber is done. We got 21, that should be plenty. And we need more copper. We always need more copper. Copper wiring. Can you make this make it out of this stuff? Um 
I always lose the hammer. Where is it? I saw it. It's right there. Copper plates. And there. So we need six of these. So six. There we go. And it go we need an iron plate. I'm getting pretty fast at this. Nice. And that there, and the plate in the middle. Do we have enough materials to make the small engine? We do. The small engine, power unit. And we need a fresh tree tap, which this will be the last one we ever make. Hopefully. So we just do that. And there we go. Tree tap, small power unit, and the tree tap. Gives us the electric tree tap. Awesome. So now we'll be able to harvest tree sap or the sticky resin without using a durability on a tree tap. So we'll charge that up. And it charges pretty fast. And now we can just use this to tra tap trees and it'll use energy. Awesome. Not sure where they're all going. It's pretty awkward. Okay, cool. I think that's going to be it for this episode, though. We made three really nice new tools that run off of electricity. But anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. See ya!